Down the witch's road we go once again this week with a brand new episode of Agatha All Along. Spoilers for the episode ahead, do come back after having watched it. This episode shows the second trial of the witch's road, and this time it's a trial against a curse. And to be honest, this episode did feel kind of repetitive for the first half at least, until the trial was complete, which I think is going to be a trend for the next few episodes coming on. But besides that, I quite enjoyed the newer version of the Witch's Road Ballad, and the musical element so far doesn't seem to feel repetitive or wear me out because it's different and the scenes where they place it works. It's a good sign. Rio Vidal also joins the Coven of Chaos, but this time as the only green witch. But I have a theory about her that I will get to later. They also mention magic, but the closed caption spells it M-A-J-I-C-K, which might just be a fancy witch's way of spelling magic, but it could also be a reference to the mutant magic, though it is unlikely but not impossible since mutants do now exist in the MCU. The teen also gets her and we finally see Agatha care about someone for the first time in the show and it once again shows the motherly love that she seems to only show the teen. We do however hear Rio say that this isn't her son, which brings me on to my theory. I believe that Rio Vidal is in fact Lady Death because Agatha pleads with her not to take the teen. Now this could be Agatha genuinely pleading, except for the fact that the teen is quite literally dying in front of them. How else can we interpret this than to assume that she's Lady Death? She also most likely was in love with Agatha since a lot like how Death was in love with Deadpool in the comics. This might be because Agatha has the ability to take lives to fuel her own power, perhaps attracting Death to her, but I do believe that the teen isn't her son and in fact Bailey Maximoff and the motherly instinct that she feels is just the guilt after having given up her son to the devil himself, not this girl. But overall this episode was a solid entry but kind of average at the same time, so it gets a 6 out of 10. Subscribe and comment below your thoughts on the show.